you see somebody without clothes and the first reaction as a child is to say shame shame where do we learn this word shame what is so shameful about what everybody has what is so shameful about the natural state of human body as we grow up the shame turns into more of a lust and we desire to see what is otherwise hidden this hiddenness or this complete unknowing of the human body makes it more attractive which is further translated into seeing any form of nudity into vulgarness but is it always necessary to look at the human body as a object of desire can it not be just a form is apple ever dressed is a pineapple ever wearing clothes do dogs ever feel they are naked why should man feel so being any other object created by nature nude what is nude mm, i guess it means being naked what does that mean it probably means not wearing clothes oh okay right hey but wait is it that simple because when i hear the word nude i am quite surprised and taken back i can think of so many things oh my god hey but aren't we all born naked i have never seen an animal wearing clothes why do we humans wear oh maybe it was for protection right but why wear clothes and now we are almost in the times where we are not wearing clothes well that's a good question hey but are we ashamed of something the thing we all have hidden inside while seeing this oh what a shame but it's natural right we were born naked and we will die naked oh no you never know unless you die but why are we ashamed of hiding our natural parts oh is it anything to do with the adam and eve eating the forbidden fruit maybe i am right we are ashamed of exposing our natural organs since then we all have kept them tucked in inside all the time in public hey but what about the beauty of our natural parts they look awesome to me at this mind to me they look just fine and perfect then why do we hide them and even if they are seen why are we so surprised very old venus and a contemporary image of kim kardashian it is interesting that after 30000 years man is redoing what he began with in the first place feminist have often been seen scorning upon this male gaze which has kind of undermine the female body to suit the pleasure of the society these images are quite shocking and can be quite gruesome and grotesque to a common man but they most certainly express a stark truth In order to understand the nudity in such performances one needs to shed away the otherwise prejudice which is there when you see a complete naked body in front of your eye In history nude has been looked upon in various facets Firstly as the mother goddess or the father goddess or primal being who created all humanity thus 
wearing clothes or not wearing them hardly mattered as the sexual creative energy of man was prayed to films have always been the closest medium to look at any new concept or old concept in our lives nudity thus came to be known to modern man more through films than art since renaissance or neoclassical art was already left behind in modern period after the wars as you will observe in early times nudity was hardly related to any eroticism or sexual connotations nudity has been used just to portray like we would see in some old paintings oui dites-moi ce que voilà le mobile We begin with western since the modern media or the new medias have come to the west first much before india I was standing there in the middle of the space with this table with objects I put the objects on the table very carefully chosen because the objects was for pleasure and there was also the objects for pain and objects that can bring you to death facing each other the public entering the museum have to pass sideways through the small space between us each person passing has to choice which one of us to face see my view i don't think is vulgar or it's obscene for me obscene is violence like you see these girls getting killed for dowry and people being drugged on the road and girls of 8 years being you know raped for me that's obscene i feel this is glamour india is growing now you know initially it wasn't expanding but now you see media we have miss world miss universe the fashion scene is changing rapidly we have so much exposure to the media and uh, you know tv channels so it is these things are going to happen because there is a lot of shock value involved in advertising you understand what i mean so i don't know i think and people want to see but tell people oh it is too shocking i don't i mean to say what are they talking about i have channels i this is this french channel on tv every time i put it on there is man and woman making out there or some you know scenes where i think any kid knows by now what is happening there so i don't think anybody is going to get badly affected with this or anything so why this and okay you telling me okay i've done wrong then you have to try and eradicate all the things which are vulgar i mean to say morning i used to travel by train lot of times and you see these men and women sitting there for their whatever things early in the morning and that is really bad to see so you you take care of all that things you know don't don't just point finger at me and milin because probably people are the trying to get some publicity organization otherwise they they never they never notice nobody talks about them so don't just catch us you know like that unfortunately whenever a nude is seen in moving media or videos it is often connoted to sexuality whereas when it is seen in a stationary medium like painting generally it is easier to see it just as a figure or a form with the passage of time especially after the western culture overtook almost all the world through american advent and economic superpower we can see that the idea of eroticism has been dominant in every aspect of human body visible to man It is very difficult today to see something naked without having social dogmas or references of it being related to some kind of gaze male or female most probably male because it has always been a patriarchal society Ich ein suche ein Mensch auf der Suche nach dem wahren selbst und nun
তোর কথাকে বলবি বিয়ের রাতে বিয়ের সাজ কেউ ঝাড়ে this has of course affected art because art and artists both have been tamed ja jaldi pyaas lagi hai moy artists most of the times are imagined to be uh, having some kind of physical relationships with the models that they paint while the models are seen as low character or ill of character because they are shedding their clothes for somebody else for public visibility same can be seen in fashion world although today fashion world models have a better character and better status in society than a painting model would ever have to to ma ja जो ढूंढ निकालेगा उसी का हो जाएगा लगता है किसी का मोदियों का हक हो गया है किसी का मोदियों का हक हो गया है पेंटिंग्स दस हैव टेकन अ बैक स्टैंड ऑल्सो स्कल्पचर्स और एनी विजुअल आर्ट विच इज ट्राइंग टू लुक एट ह्यूमन बॉडी एज ओनली फॉर्म दिस मॉन्टाज ऑफ विजुअल्स विच अदरवाइज माइट सीन ऑफ सीन और टू मच टू टेक इन इज वॉट वी सी अदरवाइज ऑल द टाइम but we may not see it together like we are seeing now and thus the impact is not as strong mostly because of the porn industry which developed in the 20th century naked and nude have been uh, completely looked down because those are the images which are easily available to man Generally look at these images most people like to look at them but do not easily accept them since they are not looked upon positively in the society these images unfortunately have become very dominant today with branding each company fighting to attract more and more viewers today television industry beyond that the online channels like netflix hotstar Amazon Prime show many of these censored scenes openly which otherwise were not allowed in public theater these imageries are so easily available today that it is almost impossible to remove certain connotations from what we see i'm sure everybody will obviously be able to see that all these mediums are alternatively related and the only change is the perspective one needs to change the perspective of looking at the world so that it will be very easy to understand the struggles behind creation and people will be able to look at art just as art as a creative form and as a beautiful pleasurable object which could give them new perspectives to living <laughs>